that now I have great pleasure in calling on the first of our speakers, who is Dr. Abdul Hadi Khalaf, former MP, lecturer at the University of Lund, Sweden, to speak to you. Thank you, my lord. Good morning to you. Meeting you and uh, speak on, uh, on developments in Bahrain. One of the things I will start with your question, why despots, uh, what reason has have despots to uh, respond to people's demand if they have so powerful friends like uh, the British government? The answer is they have to because there is a resistance in Bahrain. The resistance is not uh, weak, it is uh, stronger, it is getting stronger by the day, and more and more, the, uh, every day, the regime is creating a new, uh, a new adversary, is, is, is widening, is helping in uh, uh, spreading protest and opposition. Uh, last month, uh, in, uh, last month we had uh, a British uh, week uh, celebrating the celebrating 200 years of British uh, uh, friendship with uh, uh, with Bahrain, and uh, uh, the uh, we, two weeks later we had another celebration, another event that is the uh, in a uh, construction of the uh, headquarters for the uh, Saudi-led uh, peninsula shield. The irony of the situation has, uh, of the two events, have escaped the uh, Bahraini rulers. A British friendship, that is to say, the protection given to uh, Al Khalifa family since 1813 uh, until 1972 was exactly to deter the Saudi tribal incursions into Bahrain. A, a British uh, presence in Bahrain to, uh, throughout those 200 years where, uh, uh, where to, uh, was to uh, deter Saudis from taking over Bahrain. Now, since independence, and especially after the king, uh, the, uh, the king came uh, to power in 1999, we have, uh, the situation has changed. Saudi Arabia now Controls, control uh, Bahrain, controls uh, its economy, controls its military, and since 15th March, it controls it. Uh, Saudi Arabia controls it militarily too. Now, uh, the economy of, uh, of Bahrain is fully controlled, fully uh, controlled by Saudi investments. You will find these investments in the banking se sector. You will find it in the main industrial complexes like the petrochemicals or the aluminum factory. You will find it in the, uh, in the commercial and the, in the uh, tourist sector. Uh, seven, of the, uh, seven million out of the 12 million tourists that visit Bahrain are coming from Saudi, Saudi Arabia. The uh, hegemony that, uh, that uh, Saudi uh, Arabian rulers have uh, accomplished now and are establishing now in Bahrain, it provides, it provides a new page in Bahraini history. Bahrain is no more the independent country that we thought we have uh, begun to establish in 1971 when Britain uh, uh, departed from Bahrain. Now it is, Bahrain has, is turned into a Saudi protectorate. And as such, we have our, our adversaries are not only the uh, ruling family of Bahrain and its uh, uh, tyrannic rule, but it's also uh, the Saudi tyrannic, uh, rule, uh, tyranny. And we think that we have, uh, we have to expand our, uh, I think that we have to expand our vision to include this uh, strategic change in the situation. So it is no more a question of human rights only in Bahrain. It is no more uh, 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 corruption of the ruling family in, uh, in Bahrain. It is also the right to self-determination. It is the right to independence. It is the right to uh, regain the promised independence that we uh, thought uh, we uh, had. I will uh, leave, uh, my, uh, leave uh, my remarks now. End my remark here and hope that uh, we will uh, listen to others.